Hello, and welcome to tonight's edition of The Slow Show. I'm your host, Mr. Puff, and here's what's up. In national news, a city councilman from Indian Trail, North Carolina, resigned from office this week in a letter written in Klingon, a fictitious language from the popular Star Trek franchise. David Waddell said he felt his voice would be better heard as a citizen from the made-up planet that has no voting rights on Earth and in a language that nobody but the super nerds understand. He has plans to run for the U.S. Senate, where he'd be a perfect fit. His resignation letter read, and I quote, Ishkabibbel Nachtar Quibble Dusseldorf Muhammad Ali Flarflukel, which loosely translates to, this host has no idea how to speak Klingon, and the intern who tried to make me just lost his job. In health news today, doctors in Canada released a finding of a study on the health benefits of eating boogers. It turns out the occasional snacking of nasal nuggets helps boost the immune system. And for those of you wondering, yes, it appears the hairier the better. This revelation adds to the long list of disgusting or annoying things to come from those crazy Canucks, joining things like Canadian Bacon, Celine Dion, and Justin Bieber. This report does, however, help us understand how Queen Elizabeth managed to live for 130 years. Well, Colorado, you passed Amendment 64, and like it or not, the days of legal weed are among us. We have the slow show roving reporter Roy Ann at a local recreational marijuana store with a report on how the first few days are going. Roy Ann? Oh, oh, hi. Hello, Mr. Puff. I'm so glad you could be here at Ro last. Amendment 64 is a reality. Roanne, and we can I, now I, thank the powers that be. I don't think you're standing, Because I am standing, standing right here in front of what? What? what, I, I, don't what, think what I don't think you're standing in front of a marijuana store. That's yes, I am. Yes, I am. We are standing here in front of one of the many new marijuana retail outlets for the affordable price of only $300 per ounce. You too can now have a chance to visit Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Yes, I am very, very excited because I am a resident of beautiful Colorado and I want to try the Mary Jane. So I am going to go and I'm going to try it for the very first time in my life because I believe that it will be an exciting Ryan, adventure. Ryan, what, Ryan, what, Ryan, wait, Ryan, what is it, Mr. Pop? Ryan, what, what? Oh, hi. Th this isn't a marijuana I, store. Yes, it is. Yes, no, it is. No, I'm going to go they, see. The lines sell, are so very no, short. No, Everyone should no, come down and join us is, today. It's very is, exciting. No, is, yes, yes, it is. Come, no, come join us, everyone. This is Me a and Mr. Story. Puff. No, yes, this, this is, is Mr. Puff. This is come a, join us. This is a cigarette come store. Come on. No, no, I'm going to go try the Mary Jane right now. Bye bye. Bye. Here's Mr. Puff. Bye. Well, thanks for that report, Royan. <sighs> a Charleston, South Carolina man was treated at a local hospital and his wife was arrested after stabbing him with a squirrel. 44-year-old Helen Williams was allegedly went into a rage after her husband came home without beer. When police arrived, Williams told him that her husband slipped and fell on the squirrel. I didn't bother writing any jokes for this story, mainly because the story is funny on its own. The first word in South Carolina is South, folks. South. It's a new year, and many of us have New Year's resolutions. Well, we have Dr. Schnoz in studio with some helpful advice for all of us to maybe help us get those resolutions to last more than the week like they did last year. Dr. Schnoz. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> very nice to see you again, Mr. Puff. And I have to say, with that afro looks very nice today, very coiffed, very nice. And Thank you. we're here today because I am Dr. Schnoz. I have been around the world promoting my book, the new What to Do in 2014 by Dr. Schnoz. And, and it's all about, it's a feel good year. It's a feel good 2014. If you see that young hot thing and you know, you're one of the, you're your husband, you know, you're a guy and you know, you've had the urge to cheat on your wife, but you haven't had the, go, you know, the cajones to do it. Here you go. You know, you see that hot thing right there? You, you jump on that like a fat kid on cake. You're going to be like Dr. Schnoz. It's a feel-good 2014. If it feels good, do it. If you're on one of those, you know, hell, you know, one of those health food diets, if you see yourself and you can't have a lot of calories, you know, you see that pizza over at, you know, your favorite pizza place or whatever, by all means, go at it. It's a feel-good 2014. Dr. Schnoz says it's okay. And I have a full book of all the things that you could do. I don't recommend doing these things, but they're there to do. <laughs> It's a great, it's a great thing. It's a great year. Go ahead and try it out. Dr. Schnoz's 
20, resolutions for 2014. I have resolutions for 365 days of the year, believe you me. And believe me, I can tell you, I still think Ryan's still around because she's smoking that bad Afghani and I can smell it. I'm jealous, man. I mean, come on, what's going on here? Do Dr. Sh where did you get your medical degree from? Not, in, not anywhere in this country, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> they let, you know, they, they gave me, the, I went to Mexico to get mine, to really be honest with you. You know, you can get anything for $50 in a bag of in a bag of grass, believe you me. I can you can get your medical degree, you can get your PhD. I guarantee you, Doctor Shnaz has done this. <laughs> I'm out of here. Well, he is a doctor, so <laughs> okay. Well, folks, we're lucky enough to have the author of the best-selling book How to Be Black, Mr. Eduardo Julio Ricardo Hernandez, in studio today. Eduardo, thank you for coming in today. It's good to be in here with you, Mr. Puff. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks for coming in today. I really appreciate it. Um, my first question is probably the same questions on everybody's mind at home is, uh, what makes you think you're qualified to write a book about how to be black? For when you best recognize, I'm five times blacker than you'll ever be. Uh, oh, okay. Um, all right, then uh, what kind of tips would you have for me, a black man, on how to be black? First of all, you gotta change the way you look and the way you talk. What's up with that silly little tie? And then when I heard you talking on the phone, you didn't even sound black. Um, you probably listen to that country western music. You gotta pick up some Kanye, some Tupac. Well, I grew up in the suburbs, man. See, that's your first problem. You gotta grow up hard in the hood like me. Okay. Um, what are some things that you see black people doing that maybe misrepresents the African American community? First of all, golf. Who the hell plays golf? Especially black people. Tiger Woods? Nah, that's not cool. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna give you some names and you tell me whether or not they're representing the black community in a positive way or if they're race traitors, okay? Uh, the first name, James Earl Jones. He's cool. Okay, what about uh, Jay-Z? Cool, cool. All right, what about Oprah Winfrey? Nah, Eminem's blacker than Oprah. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, what about Tiger Woods? Nah, not okay. The first, I already talked to you about this with golf. Secondly, anybody who gets beat down by a white woman with a nine iron, not cool. Uh, okay. Uh, what about Will Smith? Yeah, he cool. He cool. Okay. What about Barack Obama? Nah, nah, Whoa. nah. He ain't black. All right. What about Steve Urkel? Nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Okay then. Uh, <laughs> did you bring a copy of your book in today? Nah, nah, I sold it for weed from Mr. Schnauz earlier. But I did bring one of the, lucky enough, I brought one of the ultra special pre-release copies. Uh, okay, folks, that's uh, How to Be Black, uh, written by Eduardo Julio Ricardo That's Hernandez. worth twice as much as I bought earlier. <laughs> Does your book work? I mean, how, how do we know your book works? Well, see, on my website, you can see the before and after pictures. Very, very, very effective. Uh, I think we have some of those here. Let's go ahead and take a look at those now. Very convincing. Very convincing. Well, folks, this is Eduardo Julio Ricardo Hernandez. Thank you very much for coming in. And... Uh... Yeah, all right, Eduardo or Mr. Hernandez. All right, well now it's time for JB's editorial block. JB, what are you ranting about this week? Rich people are getting you richer. The poor people are getting poorer. And that is the rent of tonight. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's show. I'm Mr. Puff, and I'm out of here. <laughs>